you're on like a little peninsula. The water comes up in here. It just kind of wraps around the property. I'm gonna take the handicap ramp because they have a bunch of chairs in the way at the top of the stairs. These are like Trex boards and PVC handrails, so no maintenance. Um, that house has a sailboat tied up, so that shows you that the water stays pretty deep. Got some squeaky floors, but that can be fixed. Um, they're hardwood, but everything is like raw wood. It it probably needs to be sanded down and restained. Trash can drawer, recycle. It's a whirlpool dishwasher. And granite countertops. Frigidaire stove, Samsung microwave. And then you've got like a um, subway tile backsplash around the kitchen. Now, the only thing about this house that drives me crazy personally is um, there are like no overhead light switches. This is the only one in the kitchen. I mean, you could put them where these fans are. You could change out the fans, but like the bedrooms and I don't know, there's just no overhead light switches. Those are the stairs that go down to the basement. So you've got two bedrooms up here. Once again, you have a fan, but no light in the fan. This is just a normal closet. So you've got the raw wood floors. Um, the walls in this in this hallway are panel. These are tile floors. And this is the second bedroom. The first bedroom is the biggest bedroom. And that's just a normal closet. I can't open it because there's stuff in the way. <clears throat> I 
down to the basement. Definitely need some paint. The walls are pretty grungy. These are real wood stairs. They could be refinished. Um, so if we go to the right, this is the garage. And this is all cinder block walls down in the basement area. Got a generator, panel boxes down here, and uh, you do have a garage door opener, and these are just cement floors, they were painted at one time. All right, down here you've got the panel walls, all the flooring is cracking and peeling up the tile, and um, Got a wood burning fireplace down here. That's just a cinder block wall with like some kind of weird stucco on it. <clears throat> Got French doors. I do not have a key to these doors, so we're gonna have to go back upstairs and all the way around to get outside. This is just another little pass-through room. This goes to the bathroom. Just needs to be ripped out. And that's where your toilet goes. Like I said no overhead light fixtures in here or in any of these rooms. This is a very nice living room. Got a gas uh, fireplace. We've got low ceilings up here. But you still have the hardwood floors throughout. This is just all attic eave storage. <clears throat> there is, um, there's no duct work up here. It just has the baseboard heat. So as far as AC goes, you might have to put in a window unit up here or leave that door open. Got to the dock. <clears throat> A good little covered area down here. It's 
So um, these are gas tanks out here. Um, you either own your gas tanks or you rent them from the, or lease them from the gas company. We don't have gas at the street and um, everything is on well and septic here. There's no city water or city sewage. And um, so all of the land over here, across the creek this way, is the Eagle Point Plantation where there nothing will be built. That's like tons and tons of acreage over there. And then over here um, is also another plantation right across here. You can't see the houses, but you should not have any development. Yeah, the dock, dock needs work. We are pretty much at high tide right now. I know I said I was gonna come out here at low tide. Yeah, these boards are gonna need to be replaced for sure within the next, we might get a year or two off of them. Big cat here. Fish cleaning station. But you do have um, power and water out here.